you guys, it's Dark Jack 500. So today we got some more Zer stuff. It is Friday, January 24th, of, or January. <laughs> January. Hey, hey, New Year, 27th. No, no, not, no, it's not. But it's June 24th today, guys. It is Friday. And so that means Zer is somewhere in this tower. And he's over here by the speaker. So let's get over there really fast. You guys hear my controller in the background. Oh, yeah, I got to do a, I got to do a. A lot of you guys ask what type of controller I use. I actually use Xbox One Elite controller, to be honest with you. So, let's get over here. Check out that view, though, guys. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Did you see the little traveler over there? All right, guys. So, this is where Zer is. Let's see what he's got today, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. So, we... Oh, okay. Okay. I see you, Zer. Oh. Oh, he's got a patience in time. He's got a patience in time. I gotta get one. I have to. But um, but yeah, guys. So let's let's start. Let's start with everything, guys. We're gonna go with. He has the MK44 stand aside for the Titan. Be somewhere else. That's this is the name of the exotic perk, mind you. Increases the duration of shoulder charge and turn and tighter turn radiuses while sprinting. I'm having a hard time reading stuff today. Wow. And uh, this one comes with increased discipline and strength, which is actually pretty good because you need that strength boost if you're going to keep using shoulder charge. Sometimes you miss your shoulder charge, so you got to turn around and punch somebody in the face with a storm grip. So, yeah. Um, fusion rifle ammo, rocket launcher ammo, which is actually pretty nice. I actually like that rocket launcher ammo. And arc double down, increased agility for five seconds after an arc double kill. Yeah. Yeah, I might. Uh, actually, I think I have those. Yeah, I think I have those. Ooh, lucky raspberry for the hunter. Make make your luck. I love the name. I love the names of all of these exotic perks. Arc bow grenade grenade chains further and spawn with full grenade energy. So basically, every single time you spawn into a game, you're gonna have a full grenade. That's wonders if you use things like you don't even have to use this with arc bolts. That's the thing. It's just like the void fang. The void fang works better with axiom bolts. Yeah. But you can still, it still lets you spawn with any grenade. Lucky Raspberry is the same. It doesn't matter whether you're using Night Stalker, Gunsling, the newly, the newly uh, configured or buffed or nerfed Gunslingers and Blade Dancers. You still spawn with grenades. So that means you you can have a Void Grenade, Art Grenade, and a Solar Grenade regardless of where you're spawning. You're going to spawn a grenade every single time. And for a lot of good players, that is glorious. So, remember, you don't have to use these arc bolts. A lot of people confuse that. Like, don't I have to use arc bolts? And then they'll let me spawn with energy? No, it spawns you with grenade energy, period. So, it doesn't matter what subclass you're using. This one comes with intellect and discipline, which is actually a pretty nice build for, for, uh, for a hunter. Sky rifle ammo, if you're running, if you're running Mida as, as a primary... And shotgun ammo, <laughs> conspiracy theory, or party crasher, take your pick, or if you're sweaty, you can get a matador. Um, it's it's up to you guys. Then you have solar recovery and arc armor. Oh, that's odd. That is very odd. Normally it's solar recovery and that solar armor, but this one's different. Oh, okay. I can I can work around this. So solar recovery, increased recovery for five seconds after taking solar splash damage. Arc armor, increased armor when using an arc based subclass, which is pretty nice. So you can get the recovery. I wish this was fl was flipped. I wish that's what that was. Arc recovery and arc armor, because arc uh, if that were arc recovery, that would kind of negate the effect of having blink on a blade dancer. And solar armor is just solar armor. But that that's what. You see, that's what Destiny does to you. It makes it makes things click. Like, okay, so I get I get negative one recovery using Blink. What can I use to up that recovery that's taking away? But for the Warlocks guys, they've got the claws of Ahamkara. Yeah. The, oh wait, is this a super strength build? It is. It's not a high super strength build, but it's one regardless. The Whispers. Gain an additional charge for all warlock melees, or all warlock charged melees. So basically, if you're um, basically what's this saying is you can have two energy drains. Yeah, you can have two energy drains, 
two scorch melees, so that means that's two overshields. And two of that long ass ton thunder strike melee that you can do with Stormcallers. That stupidly far melee that the warlocks can throw? Yeah. Yes, it throws. I, I need to capture that video so I can just insert that right here. Like right now and show you how stupid and how far that thunder strike range is. Yes, it's like a throwing knife. Except it doesn't keep following. I'm dead serious. But if you use this and you use a storm caller, I suggest running I suggest running that long range melee so you can get two of them. This one comes with in increased discipline and strength. I'm sorry guys, I'm just so blown away by the fact that that's an actual melee. That's actual melee range, guys. It's actually freaking melee range. Snap discharge increases melee attack speed and momentum transfer. Gain bonus melee energies on grenade hits. Uh, this one comes with auto rifle loaders and rocket launch loaders. I might grab these. Hold on. Do this real fast. Do I have it on here? No, I don't. Dang it. I need to see if mine have mine has auto rifle loaders. And of course the weapon. Patience and time. This one comes with field choke, CQB ballistics, and aggressive ballistics. But oh, alright, wait, so before we go to this before we continue this, this is a little backstory, you know, it's like I like doing these things. Um, sniper rifle, patience and time. Year one, it was it was a savage weapon when you were playing on bigger maps like Bastion, um, what's the Sky, that big Earth map that I absolutely can't stand. And then you had the other one, which was first light on the moon. This thing's glorious. You just, sit, you just perch up on a rock, start aiming, go invisible, and snipe people out. And the, and the zoom on it was pretty far. That's what kind of turned it off for a lot of other snipers, like, like regular snipers, people that play sniper all the time, is... The zoom distance is a lot. It's like one of the furthest zooms you can get on a sniper. And it's really hard when people are bomb rushing you and you zoom in and it's like, bam! And that's their head and you can barely see it or their body. It's far. It's really far. So, it's actually a pretty good sniper if you're doing like... Um, it, of course, you can still rest snipe. This impact means you can rest snipe, but it's it's just not the ideal go-to weapon. I think people would prefer long or... They actually they always prefer a long war one case they are over this regardless of it. This it's a fun sniper. Don't get me wrong. It is a fun sniper, very fun sniper. Especially when people can't see you and you're shooting. Yeah, it's a lot. But the perks that come with this third eye. So aiming uh, radar stays active while aiming on this weapon sights, which is really hard to find on the sniper. This actually you can't even get this on a sniper. I don't think it's one of the only times I know you can get a third eye third eye perk on. Custom optics, precision glass, to lower zoom, wider, wider view. It said lower zoom, but it doesn't change much. It really doesn't. Fit stock, increased web stability. This thing has outstanding stability, so you really won't need that. So I suggest you go with your custom optics or field scout if you plan on using this thing. And then you have, uh, yeah, field scout and then patience and time. The exotic part. This one, the, uh, yeah, the exotic part is not here for this one. So, so patience is time, you gain active camouflage by aiming down the sight, so you literally go invisible. It doesn't take, take care, take, take away the lens flare, flare you see from a sniper, but you're still, still invisible. And it's hard for people to pinpoint you and counter snipe. That's the idea of it. Patience and time, if you've got it, they'll never see it coming. Literally. And of course, what is this a legacy? Yes, yeah, legacy anger for all those... For all those hel exotic helms you don't have from year one, if you, I suggest you don't do this, but it is cheaper than getting legacy weapon ingrams. It's 31, this one's 29. You can get any year year one weapons you don't have, like if you don't have a year one Eternal Warrior or a year one uh, Hell of the Saint, you know, if, you wanna, if you're one of those people who has to get, like, the full collection, definitely check that out, guys. Of course, of course the Curios, Plasma Drive, Void Drive, Equip these for durability, speed, for a rare blue spare. I don't know why you want to do that. And Void Drive. Purple Contrail under Boost. Heavy Ammo Sense. Again, the best way for you to rank up factions. Take your Strange Coins. Trade them in. You get one Strange Coin. Or you get three Heavy Ammo Sense per Strange Coin. A hundred Strange Coins. 
a hundred strange points will get you one cruise one reputation yeah one one uh faction rep or one faction rank and it'll give you one package so if you got a hundred of these that's 300 heavy ammo since or yeah that's 300 heavy ammo since you get three packages it's always a good thing three coins if you're still grinding for some of those year one turn year two exotics if you need those Glass needles for some of, if you don't like the rolls on some of these, you can always re-roll them with glass needles. You have to trade in exotic shards. I'm not a big fan of that. But, that's fine. Motor Light, I've done, I've done a couple times myself. Motor Light, changes, you trade in two strange coins for one Motor Light. Nah, I'm good. I think I'll just go with the heavy ammo sense and get four more of these every single time I get a rank. Just saying. But that's it for this for this week's Azur's Dank loot, guys. I hope you guys pick up some of these. If you're missing any of these, grab these. Grind out some grind out some strikes, play some crucible, decrypt some Ingrams, you get buku strange coins from just doing random stuff. So you actually get you actually if you need thirteen more, thirteen more won't take you long to get. So definitely pick up whatever these you guys you guys need. So that's it for this week, guys. Hope you guys like the video. Remember to like, favorite, comment. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really supports me, helps me out, guys. This is Dark Jack Fabrin signing out. I catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.